Hello, this is Rochelle and welcome to my channel. I am completing Gratitude Documented for November 2019 in my little booklets today and they're getting little chunky monkeys. I like it, um, a lot of dimension, a lot of um, happy memories and prompts that made me think and um, just spending that time being creative, understanding the great gifts that God has given us and the opportunity to be thankful for them. Uh, I said in my video earlier this week that really when we are not thankful, that disposition of grumbling and moaning and depression sets in so fast. So we need to be thankful in all the things um, and for everything find something to write down or a project like this where you can write down where you can visually see the things that you are thankful for um, it is an important thing to remember those things and then to tell you yourself your soul bless the lord <laughs> so again working on foundation page pages first and in the first one i just took a branding strip cut it in half Put it on the bottom of the page um, the second one i took some leftover cardstock tore it in half to have that rough edge stuck some washi underneath it and then um, well tried to get this washi underneath it i just ruffled up the edge a bit um, again adding that little bit of texture and then cutting off the excess excess like i said i like um, doing the the lazy person's way of measuring <laughs> by just cutting off the excess instead of measuring and trying to cut ahead of time. Um, these washi strips from Felicity Jane in the Shake Kit has just, like I don't want to use it, but it's so pretty and I do. So I'm even using the in-between pieces um, where the two patterns merge. Um, I mean, even using that as washi strips and very much liking it. Picking up the stars from the opposite page here and laying down that washi strip on the white cardstock uh, so that it repeats that pattern and pulls it into a coherent page. And then just uh, laying down pink washi on the last page again with the two sizes. And I like that so much. <laughs> I'm going back and adding some more of these in between washi strips um, especially on this mustard page where I tore the one edge and the other edge was just straight so I'm taking that straight edge and putting the washi just just over the two and it makes it just looks look so beautiful and I like that a lot now chances that these are covered by photos or embellishments in the end it's real but um I still very much enjoy the process of creating creating the foundation pages um, then adding the uh, printed prompts with the verses so what i did ahead of time if you didn't see that video i printed out on card on on normal copier paper um, from my computer just using a typewriter font the verse for each reference or each prompt so that i had it close by since I was not doing this in my Bible directly, but instead in this little traveler's journal setup. Um, the video for this setup is also up, up on my channel. Yeah, what can I say? Grace, my little click and go Quebec style water pot is right there off to the top right. And uh, she doesn't drink water from hers. <laughs> she wants water from mine. <laughs> so yeah. Hello Grace. So like I said, uh, I just used a little pocket that I had um, on hand and it was just pretty and I liked the colors and I put it on there using some Felicity Jane mini tags, um, stringing some uh, string through it and or thread through it and then um, sticking those down just for some stuff that hangs all off the sides and off the top and just everywhere some fun dimension for this. Deciding to add some more washi strips here. Um, clearly, you can never have quite enough washi strips. Um, and I'm trying to repeat the patterns just so that, that, like I said, the pages are a bit more coherent. 
Um, so I wanted to hoard this washi and measure it precisely, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> um, I'm liking the pink to this page, just a little bit of pop of a pink, um, and then calling that page done. Sometimes I enjoy putting a little strip of color on top of the little prompt, uh, like there, so that it just makes it look like it was there to start with and not just kind of a last minute add-on. <laughs> and then my last foundation page is also done. Sticking down the verse. I like that the long verse is at the end. I could use it for the double spread. It's awesome. <laughs> And there again, just repeating some of that wa pink washi that I did get to save. <laughs> These um, chipboard numbers are from the Illustrated Faith Gratitude Documented Mini Album set from 2017. Wow, that's a mouthful. <laughs> and at first I wanted to just stick those down and then go print my photos. But because I like some of these bigger numbers to kind of sit on top of the photo, um, I decided to print my photos first. This first double spread for day 23 uh, is being thankful for petition. And when I thought of petition, I thought of um, my friend Anri, who is having a little baby, a little girl, and we've prayed for this little girl. And this is us standing in, or her at least, standing in a class at Bible journaling and uh, we're praying before we start and she's just holding her tummy like any mommy would <laughs> and uh, the, the image of it for me was just so beautiful that I had to snap a picture really quickly <laughs> but that was petition we were petitioning God for this child and for this little girl that's coming uh, soon <laughs> then day 24 I have this picture of coffee with my husband. Um, he loves me enough to have coffee with me. He started drinking really coffee only when he married me. And he loves me enough to get coffee with me. And I love him more than coffee. So when I think of love, obviously I always say I love coffee. But I love my husband more than I love coffee. Uh, day 25 was compassion. And for the first time ever, I saw my 14-year-old hold a baby when I picked her up at piano. And uh, it, I just loved, again, this imagery driving up to the uh, driveway and seeing her on the grass outside, babysitting this uh, young baby at piano. And it was just, it made my day. So embellishing the pages a bit, adding some stickers, adding some, the numbers, and uh, a little bit of, little bit of pops of color just to make the page come together there are these alpha or these puffy word stickers that came with the shake kit and I'm in love again when I hoard them all um, but end up using some of them on the pages you saw me also use the little stars from the Phyllis Jane set I, I break them in half the same as what I do with the numbers, the chipboard numbers, just to take some of the bulk away, but still have that element of dimension. I stamped with Versamark Black Onyx ink and misstamped. So luckily, because it's not stays on, I could wipe it off the photo real quick um, to get a proper image down there. And then just adding some of the um, crisscross stars from that stamp set and... Uh, having a dark, a lighter hue, like a grey on that page, not that contrasting black. Putting puffy stickers, calling it day, oh this is generosity, sorry, the prompt for this day was generosity, and when I think of that, um, I think of my youngest, she likes giving more than what she likes receiving. When it's someone's birthday, she goes all out and buys all the things with her own money for everybody and so this was a giveaway with our um with her birthday P prompt for this page was for the next page was um protection and when i think of protection i think of this little baby inside Andre's stomach that is still being protected by that wall and then the next prompt is family 
when I think of family, that first time that we became a family for me is such a miracle. I am forever grateful for that day. And so that was my prompt for that page or my picture for that page. The next one speaks of um, restoration. And in this picture, I am with a very good friend holding keys and I am ecstatic and I can't tell you the full story just yet, but really God has restored my, my focus, God has restored my purpose, um, God has restored my dreams and for that I am so thankful. This really has been the busiest month ever, um, but I'm super thankful. It is a gift, honestly. <laughs> Um, and in the last page, day 30, is all about um, friends. And this little booklet that when I did the voiceover, I could see that it had three pages with Henri and uh, little baby. Uh, and I'm really um, super thankful for friendship. I'm thankful that I could be um, with this girl as she fell pregnant and throughout the pregnancy. Um, but more than just, you know, being broody, <laughs> I have such a deep love for her and what she's meant in my life. And the friendship part is such a wonderful way to end off these 30 days. Um, and so this is a photo from her baby shower. And um, she taught me how to paint uh, at all. <laughs> And so a lot of the things that, that I do art-wise came from her. So it's it's really dear and near to my heart. And she is such a bubbly, wonderful person. And I honestly just love having a friend like her. She stays just close to me. So we have play dates whenever we can, which hasn't been nearly regularly enough. If you check out my channel, there should be some videos of us having play dates and painting together um, those were a lot of fun so i'm just going through again and adding some last minute touches this page needed something and so i used these felicity jane um, chipboard alphas just as they are didn't take dimension off because i like the chunkiness and i'm spelling out bible besties which is the hashtag we gave ourselves <laughs> bible besties and I'm splitting it over the two pages. My first attempt at measuring with Bible did not work. So there's a big gap and I couldn't pull it off. And it is what it is. And that's okay. Thanks for joining me for this project throughout the month. Um, I enjoyed all the ramblings. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it too and created with me. And uh, we're thankful for the things that God's given us. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.